Welcome to the show guys. I'm Kat and I am so ready to share some exciting basketball stories with you here today. Both what's happening on and off the court around the league. So let's start with a guy that's in the middle of it all. Photographer Nathaniel Butler has been shooting for the NBA for over 30 years. That's crazy and he has seen it all. The drafts, all-star games, playoffs, even those exciting NBA finals. I mean who wouldn't want to be in the middle of that? Now as a photographer Nathaniel tells stories through the lens but we had a chance to hear those stories from the man himself. And Nathaniel Butler, just one of the uh, official NBA photographers. I went to St. John's uh, in New York and I wasn't good enough to be on the team. I was always into hoops and wanted to play. I played in high school. Uh, so St. John's would play at the Garden, uh, St. John's Georgetown, like back in the day, the Big East, Syracuse, like it, it was, it was a big deal. So I was shooting the college games there, got to know some people. I was like, hey, I'd love to shoot you know, some of the Nick games. Uh, and it just sort of evolved from there. I started shooting in 1984. You always hear about this guy, Jordan, you know, uh, Barkley, and uh, you know, I, I, I was in the, the lower rounds, I guess we could, we, could, we could say. It was finals, Lakers, um, Celtics. And it was game four, and I was sitting on the opposite side of the uh, basket. Usually in those days, you wanted to sit on one side because it was right-hand dominant. It was crowded. I was like, oh, I'll sit there. I don't care. Like, I'm happy to be here. And it was just, he came across the lane with this junior, junior sky hook. Five seconds to go. Magic with a hook shot. Scores with two. And then in the photo is Magic doing the hook. It's Bird, Mikhail, Parrish, like all look. And then he hit that shot and he just kept running right off the court. And then it's not digital in those days, it's film. Like, did I get it? I, I think I did. Like, you run back. It, in those days, we would develop the film in the hotel. I'm in the bathroom in the hotel, shaking the black and white film, holding it up, you know. And then you, you, you yell, ooh, you know, we got that shot. Um, and it was cool because Magic referenced that as one of his favorite moments. I deliberately would choose back in the day to be on the side where Jordan went second half. And I was like, the game's on the line. He's taking it in. He's do And I deliberately would do that. Then the, the game in Utah, he juked Byron Russell. I have the shot, the ball literally right on his fingertips with the shot clock coming uh, in the background. You never ever see that picture. You see the shot down court that one of my colleagues shot uh, and it shows the arena, the people's face and it, it, it is a better moment from that angle because it puts it in more of a context. At the time, like you're caught up in the moment. I think it's similar to the players. Like you're, we work hard, you're focused on your job, you're into the job. And then it's like, after it's over, it's like, oh, that's cool. But then you become more reflective. Like you look back on it 10 years later, 20 years later, and it's like, wow, that was pretty cool. I think Michael always had a, a flair for the dramatic. So he, he like slowed down, got the crowd into it, the crescendo, you know, that kind of stuff all plays into it. And it was, it's just fun to, uh, to have been there. It's stuff as much as you think will get duplicated, it, it doesn't, things change. I used to work at Sports Illustrated as an assistant, like I learned a lot from those guys, and it was very prestigious if you got a cover of Sports Illustrated, that was a big deal. And I think it was like three and a half million people would see Sports Illustrated, sort of a big deal. Now uh, our cameras for these games are tethered, which means I hit the button, the images are sent immediately. They go to Secaucus, Secaucus pushes them out, and NBA social media can have access to the photo six to eight seconds after I hit the button with the immediacy of things now, uh, the, the, the world has changed.